I was in my way to Jerusalem and that just clicked. Thinking between Bethlehem and Jerusalem, thinking about Virgin Mary. As a Muslim and as a mom, reading the mercy of having Virgin Mary in our life, her miracle was really exceptional. Her patience and her journey wasn't easy at all. We all, as moms, always like want the best for our children, the best to kind of raise them, the best to kind of guide them into the best path. But for her, she was chosen to be guided and she was chosen to deliver one of the most amazing um, messages in the humanity it was so inspiring. I thought, okay, let's just make some art about it. I was raised in Jerusalem, so this is where my whole uh, life have been. And, and I'm feeling so happy to walk in those streets where they walk, to hike in those uh, mountains where they lived and grown, and kind of to learn about this journey on the land. Even as a Muslim, having lots of Jews and Christian friends was a place for us to um, celebrate all um, Eids and all holidays and all Chagim that happened in that place uh, with people that we cared about. My name is Camille, I'm a musician and an artist and that's the second year I spent Christmas away from my family back in Lebanon. Something we do in Lebanon is we eat turkey on Christmas. Turkey but cooked in an Arabic way with like rice, pistachio and stuff. It's really like I miss the taste so much. That's on Christmas Eve and then I used to try to sleep early because I wanted Santa to come ASAP. Growing up in Jerusalem um, as a Muslim girl means I go to the Aqsa Mosque every Eid uh, in the morning or celebrate Eid um, with my family and friends in the village. As Muslims, we have two Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, uh, that both come after fasting. So for me, celebration always come after fasting. As a child, I grew up and Eid mostly was in summer. I didn't celebrate Christmas in the way religiously, but I definitely enjoyed it as a child. I have always celebrated kind of visiting friends and seeing what they do and eating different meals. In Jerusalem, it's the Christmas uh, space. It's freezing. It's not like a, a t-shirt and a beach space. So for, for me, being in Australia while Christmas is happening is interesting. Last year, I celebrated Christmas for the first time away from my family here in Australia. And it was a special experience because I spent it with my friends who are also away from their families. It's interesting because we feel like we're each other's family here and it really makes bonds stronger between, stronger between friends. Living away from family is, is hard, especially this is when we most feel it, when it's a celebration time. And having friends, close friends, coming into your house in that day means a lot. It means eat. You know, Christmas is mainly about getting people together and sharing love and that's definitely what it did to me here. It doesn't matter religion, background, country, language, it means the feeling that he brings at home. That means family to us in diaspora. Asil invited me during Eid al-Adha and we celebrated it together. We had an amazing dinner. It was really good, sheep. Hopefully we'll eat some turkey on Christmas as well. <laughs> Happy, holidays, Happy holidays everyone! Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs>